Hello, this is Chuck Stahl. I'd like to look at a, another measure of concentration. This is known as the Herfindahl Index or the hirschman herfindahl Index. So the market concentration ratio or the CR4 that we looked at in the previous slideshow is fairly simple. We simply add up the market share of the four largest firms. What I'd like to look at now is a more modern measure and one that can help differentiate between industries where the biggest firm has a substantially higher market share than the second or third or fourth biggest one. Uh, and so this is the Herfindahl Index. The Herfindahl Index, or the herfindahl hirschman Index, right, is found by taking the market share of each firm, squaring it, and then adding all of those squared values up. Um, so this is a little bit more complicated than the simple four-firm concentration ratio, but it's based on the same measures. What percentage of, mar of the market does each firm sell to? What percentage of uh, the market does each firm control? Um, but rather than simply working with the percentages, we're going to square that because that will give us um, a better indication of the most highly concentrated industries. Let me walk through a numeric example. This is the breakfast cereal industry uh, with information based on 2008 market shares. And we can see the um, Kellogg's is the largest firm at 33%, General Mills at 25%, Post at 15%, uh, Private Labels uh, 14%, Quaker Oats 7%, Malta meal, 5%, and then all other were 1%. Now, if we were simply looking for the uh, four-firm concentration ratio, we could simply add up the four largest firms, the 33 plus 25 plus 15 plus 14. But what we're interested in here is calculating the uh, Herfindahl index. So we'll have to take these um, market shares and square them. So we take 33 square, we get 1089. 25 squared, 625, and we do that with each of the other um, companies that we have information for, and we get all of our squared values, and then we simply add those up. So we take 1089 plus 625 plus 225 plus 196 plus 49 plus 25 plus 1, and that gives us 220, 2210, 2,210 for a Herfindahl index. So the calculations are fairly straightforward, um, but the interpretation is just a little bit more complicated because it's not a simple 0 to 100 scale. So one of the reasons that the Herfindahl is a preferred index in many modern analyses is that it does include all the firms, and because it uh, gives a better identification of the most highly concentrated markets. The disadvantages or that it is harder to interpret, and that the scale runs from 0 to 10,000, right, where 10,000 is just 100% or a monopoly uh, squared. 100% uh, squared will give us 10,000. So we can look at some numbers that are roughly equivalent to the concentration ratios uh, to help interpret the level of concentration using the Herfindahl index. So Roughly a four-firm concentration ratio of 60%, um, right, which was our highest concentration, would be equivalent to a Herfindahl index of over 1,800. The moderately concentrated uh, industries right, running 40 to 60% would be from 1,000 to 1,800 on the Herfindahl index scale. Again, rough comparison. Um, and our relatively unconcentrated industries would be those with a four-firm concentration ratio of 40% or a Herfindahl index of less than 1,000. Again, we can look at some of those uh, same industries that we looked at in the last show, and we can see that the tight oligopolies have very high Herfindahl indexes, uh, which is exactly what we would expect. The large Firms have a very large share of the market, and so when we square it, the values um, are substantially over the 1800 number. So with automobiles, the four-firm concentration ratio is 1910. 
Uh, with the aluminum industry, the number itself isn't disclosed because it would give away too much information about the market share of an individual company, and the government will not disclose that. But we can backtrack and calculate that there is at least a 2035 Herfindahl index. Cigarettes, the same thing in terms of disclosure, um, but the market share there, uh, or the Herfindahl index there, would be over 2276. Um, in a minimum. So again, these are very high, very tight oligopolies, very concentrated markets. If we look at the moderately concentrated oligopolies, we can see that the Herfindel index falls in that middle range. So the um, four firm concentration ratio for cheese was 34.6%, and that gives us a Herfindel index of 441.6. For paint, a concentration ratio of 37.3 is associated with a Herfindel index of 505. And for paper mills, the four firm concentration ratio just under 50, Herfindel index of 720.6. Again, these are those center values. These are moderate oligopolies. They are not as tight an oligopoly as the um, most concentrated ones, but they certainly are more concentrated than our, than our next category. These are our relatively unconcentrated industries, and again, we can see here we have pretty low uh, Herfindel index indices. Um, the Herfindel Hirschman index for textile mills is 105, uh, for furniture 97.4, and for sawmills uh, 117.2. And again, the same um, idea in terms of these are industries that are much more competitive or less concentrated than the um, more tightly concentrated markets. This has been Chuck Stahl at Kalamazoo College. Thank you for listening.